What, what goes on? Rolling stones in the rap game, not bragging. Lips bigger than Jack and not sagging. It's brother backwards, I'ma leave it at that. Daddy got nothing to do what with rap. Check the facts, expose those cats. Who poses heroes, take advantage of blacks. Your government's gangsters so cut the crap. A war going on, so where y'all at? Fight the power, cause great responsibility. F the police, but who's stopping you from killing me? His ass is fiasco's a loop by P.E. If it's I instead of we believe in TV. <laughs> 83 CS 55 that I bought as a practice when I realized how bad my first one was. I bought this one just to, for peace of mind that I just could actually make locks and I did buy a fluke in the first place and that is in case, indeed the case. This one I've had two or three weeks now and uh, earlier today I managed to rake it a few times <coughs> and I've tried I've single point picked it a few times. Here I'm just going to try raking it to set some pins. And there it's not wanting to come out. I can feel some rotation on it. Earlier I was just working with the rotation act the counter rotation and uh, using the brake as a pick at the time that I was meeting the counter rotation and it managed to open it quite quickly. However, that was without a camera, and <laughs> now I've got a camera on, I'm trying to single point pick it. I'm trying to find at the moment who's, that was one, who's uh, trapped and who wants to rotate. So I'm just working my way backs and forwards as the pins drop and they set back up. In the other lock, <coughs> in the other lock there are um, spool pins in positions 1, 2, 4 and 5 out of the 5 pins out of there. The middle one's uh, serrated in the Bible. The lower pins, the driver pins, I guess. Well, the key pins, sorry, on that lock are all, all seem to have started off as spools. Um, <coughs> so we got that open, I'll just pause that narrative. Only one they all seem to start off as spools, and it looks as though they've been cut down to length at the top, and so most of them are T pins, but one of them remains the spool. In this lock, I haven't opened yet, and that's the plan now to see what's in it. <clears throat> so this is a six pin, uh, whereas the other lock I bought from uh, a padlock company who obviously repinned it themselves, this one was bought from a hardware chain um, and I imagine it's pretty much factory made rather than one that's been modified. So at the moment I'm just taking out the core. There's a screw in there that retains it. Uh, I'll just put that to one side now. What I've left inside the lock also is the Z bar or Z bar, which incidentally, <laughs> although it's a Z bar, I'm surprised they don't call it a two bar because they've used that very shape to uh, in reverse to sorry, the right way, to represent the two in the series two. Anyway, <clears throat> so this I did oil because I've been raking it so much there's quite a bit of brass dust around, so I'm just going to clean off a little bit of oil, and then I'm going to try and get my vice into view. The idea is that I'm trying to do this all in uh, visibility of the camera. So I did dismantle and got the other lock which uh, hopefully is going to be enough practice to be able to do this one. So first off I'm going to 
stick this in the vise. I'm going to remove the circlip with these, hopefully, which worked on the other one. The circlips on these are spring clips of some kind, uh, as opposed to the bendy metal that you get on uh, many other locks. So it should just spring off it and be usable again. If I can get the tool in the right place. And there we are. Well, it certainly springs off. <coughs> on the last one, I left this uh, tail piece, I don't know what you'd call that in, the actuator I guess, which stopped me from putting a follower in. So I'm removing the actuator, I'm just going to put this down while I remove the clamp for the time being. And I'm going to turn the key slightly so that we get this pin, sorry the detaining pin goes about there and that way it shouldn't be able to fall into the top. I've got a 12 and a half millimeter piece of plastic that I'm going to use as a follower and hopefully I won't launch everything around the room. Oh, okay, so I've got to keep pressure on the follower. <coughs> Therefore I won't launch everything around the room like I did last time. Okay, all the pins have fallen out. Right, so the back two, this is a lot of oil in here, the back two pins that fell out of the Bible were indeed spools. I'm guessing that the stuff that was in the top of the other lock would be fairly standard, so let's put these in there. We've got a spool, I don't know where that spring came from, I think it's from a, another lock, but we'll see. Uh, another spool. In the other lock we had uh, just carrying in this direction. In the other lock we had uh, sorry, a serrated in the central position. The other lock was a five pin, like a quarter of one of the springs by the look of it. Right, so The spring that was caught up. Um, I'm presuming that one of these will be serrated to. Let's take the other spring out. All these springs seem to be the same sort of steel spring. Oh. I still haven't quite got the coordination to get these things out <laughs> without them jumping around. Uh, also, haven't got the ability to let you see what's going on in that. Okay. Spool. And the last one's a spool as well. So these are all spools in here. No, they're not. Sorry, that first one's serrated. <coughs> so in the top, we've got a serrated pin, very slight grooves at each end. And then all the other ones are spools. In the plug, we had, and I'll just put them back in and see if I can get them in the same order. They're all standard. Uh, there's no security stylings on these at all. Not the right one. So this is going to be a case of trial and error to get this back together. Essentially, I don't know, you can probably see these, I'll, I won't put them in any particular order, but I will zoom in. Uh, we've got the standards. I'm guessing that that's possibly why I was able to rake this a few times. Uh, none of these were getting caught up at all with the back to front motion I was using. Uh, Whereas, obviously, the spools, I guess, were, but most of the time that didn't seem to matter. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you this time. Um, this is mainly a celebration for me of uh, actually being able to pick a lock rather than just have great luck at finding locks that are useless. And this one, obviously, has got 
room for improvement and as I've said many times in every other video I intend repinning this and the other uh, the other <laughs> Abbas lock that I've got to try and uh, make them a little harder to get into. Okay, thanks for watching.